Remember when you were a kid and you had your poster on your wall of that supercar you always dreamed of having? Well, dreams are becoming reality. That supercar was either a Porsche, a Lamborghini, even a Ferrari. I remember mine. Then you get older, you go to school, things happen, you have to pay for things, you get married, you have kids, but that dream is still somewhere deep down inside. And then you get an opportunity because something catches your eye. Well, this 2018 Porsche Cayman is a million dreams and many years all into one. This amazing little 2.5 liter four cylinder turbo engine with 300 horsepower will move you from zero to 60 in just about four seconds. This 2018 Porsche Cayman is a million dreams into one. Over a hundred years of racing history and technology has been compacted into this vehicle. This Porsche Cayman is all you'll ever need. That's not correct. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder turbo, 300 horsepower engine. Can keep up with a 500 horsepower GT3. And what I mean by that is that this little beast of a car that Porsche has made has completely surprised the hell out of me. But the second you drop it down into a lower gear. Oh my God. This little thing moves. So, if you saw my previous video of the Alfa Romeo, this is a direct competition for the Alfa Romeo 4C. Now, the 4C has nothing inside compared to the luxury that Porsche provides with the beautiful steering wheel and the luxurious leather seats, the navigation, the Bose sound system. But at the same time, Porsche supports you with a PDK transmission that is by far the best transmission 
out there today in sports cars. All you need to do is push the sport button, click a couple shifts down, and let it rock. So, after taking this amazing car in the canyons, you have to wonder, you have to wonder why everyone doesn't own this car. Now, ever since they put the 718 badge on this car, it became cheaper than the Boxster. But, truth be told, I think that this car is better than the Boxster. And I've driven the Boxster S with 350 horsepower, and it really does feel completely different. The stance on this car feels more like a GT3 type vehicle. You really can't go wrong. When we were driving in the canyons and going through the corners, the GT3 and the Cayman are very similar, besides the 200 horsepower. I think a lot of people are surprised that this little four-cylinder turbo engine can push out that much BHP and you really feel the pounds feet of torque. But where it comes down to the zero to 60 is questionable. In the beginning, when you romp on the throttle for your zero to 60 time, because it's a turbo, there's a small little lag that the inline six in the GT3 doesn't have. There is a tiny little lag in the beginning when you push on the throttle, but believe me, the second you get past that first one and a half seconds, it is here to the moon with the throttle down. We have a liftoff. I am once again, I'm just super impressed. And every time I get my hands on a different model, it really does shock me that Porsche can do this so well. I can't believe that this is a base four-cylinder turbo model, and it really does throw me back in the seat. I mean, listen to this. I mean, it hurts your ears. That's how loud it is. The other thing I want to point out, with all the bells and whistles that Porsche provides for you in this amazing car, for around $68,000, this car with options, and it doesn't have many. You have your upgraded sound system, you have your nice leather memory seating, right? But let's just say you didn't want to drive it in sport mode all the time. Well, let's see. Okay. It becomes a grand tour. This little car you can take wherever you want to. With the front and the back, and especially the trunk space is more than a lot of other little sports cars. What's funny is this car competes with the C7 Corvette. I don't want to put it in the realm of the C8 because the C8 is a different beast, but you can really tell that this car just provides a different experience. And that's Porsche racing experience that they provide in each one of their models. Whether you're driving the Macan, a Cayenne, a Taycan, a Panamera, or a little Cayman like this. The second you get in, you have a smile on your face. You can't wait to, you don't want to turn it off. You want to keep driving and driving and driving. And that's exactly what we did today. For all of you that are interested in possibly buying your first Porsche, I'm sure you fell in love with the different models of the 911 and maybe can't afford a brand new one. I really have to say that I was never a Porsche fan, but after driving this car, if I wanted to start my little collection with Porsche and maybe couldn't afford the $100,000, $90,000 car, I have no problems with picking this exact model. It does everything you think it's going to do and better. Not to mention the 21 
mile per gallon on the city and 28 mile per gallon on the highway? Do I need to say more? Porsche really does a great job on making you feel their heritage when you get inside the car. And every time I review a Porsche, I just am blown away. Today was an important day for, for me to see what this car can really do. The 718 badge, I can't wait to try the other models as the 718 Cayman S or the 718 GT4 or the GTS. I mean, come on, listen to that. Driving a Porsche is a privilege, but it doesn't mean you need to spend a hundred grand to own one. I really do think that the Porsche Cayman is up there at the top of the list when it comes to handling, when it comes to power, when it comes to luxury, when it comes to sound. You know, as an Italian, I gravitate towards the Alfa Romeo 4C because why not? That's the bloodline that I might have. But in respect to German motoring, the perfect, precise motoring that they provide is honestly, I, I think it's above the rest. Now, being able to put it in sport mode in the city, do you really need it? Absolutely not. The car is just fine in the very, very basic mode that it is. Sure, we can take off the traction control and this car will be sideways. And Porsche still has an ability to make the rear wheel drive car stick to the road without any problems. The other feature that I love is the wing. If you want added stability to your driving experience, Here's the button, push it, and the wing pops up. There it goes. Now, the cool part is knowing that Porsche provides such a stability in every driving experience. You really, really can't go wrong. So, let's see what this bad boy can do. expensive ones. I mean, this car really does shock you at every turn. And then the best part is, you look good doing it. You can say, hey, I own a Porsche. Which one? Cayman. Someone might laugh at you until you get in and start the car. If you enjoyed this just like I did, what a day it was. If you're looking for an amazing price, on a car that feels like a couple hundred thousand dollars, then the Porsche Cayman is the car for you. And remember, you don't even need to buy the bigger engine because this four cylinder is just enough. Guys, I'm Gino. This is 8 Speed Racing. Tune in next time. If you like what you see, go ahead and like and subscribe and keep this channel running. I look forward to the next video because that is what we're doing. We are doing it and doing it well.